What's going on everybody? It's Nate Matthews back again with another video. Today we're going to be showing you a tonneau cover that I got for the Honda Ridgeline. This is the 2023 Honda Ridgeline. Just put a tonneau cover on it. I got an aluminum one from Paragon. It's a retractable aluminum. It's real nice. I was able to install it by myself even though the directions recommend uh, two people. I always say two people and I throw it for two people. Um, I've never installed one or anything like this before. This is my very first time. Somebody else I've seen a review saying they were able to install it in an hour took me way longer than an hour but now that i know how it's done i think i can get it done a whole lot faster so i'm here to show you guys what i got what i did to install it and i'm actually going to put it back on because it's actually sitting right here took it off for the video something that you're going to need is um i recommend something like this i just picked this up tool set if you guys need something like this or just need to have some tools in general I'm going to have a card that pops up or a link in the description before I got this I actually bought that for the purpose of installing this because the only one that I had on hand actually was this that I got from Ross a long time ago for like 10 bucks and let me show you guys what it did when I tried to do my thing with the truck right now there's four screws I'll show you guys those in a moment I was able to get two of them out and then my tool just busted on me like the whole thing so I was turning it by hand got two of the screws out of the truck and I could not get the other two out at all to save my life and I gave it everything I had busted the tool up so yeah that's what forced me to go buy a better kit so with that being said I'm gonna take the camera off this tripod show you guys a close-up of what I had to do we're gonna reinstall the tonneau cover and then I'll show you guys the you know the overview you guys can let me know what you think if you're interested in one I'll see if I can have like an affiliate affiliate link where you guys can either save money or anyway try to partner with them let you guys know what you know I got first time installing something like this let's check it out all right guys so let's hop into the truck first thing we had to do is go ahead and install these right here this came as a I'll say a three-piece set we got the side brackets here, whatever you want to call them. I don't know the, the professional name, the actual name. We have this top piece right here and we got another side as well. Something else to note is that they are branded. Um, I didn't know nothing about the brand. I didn't do too much research. All I knew is I wanted a tonneau cover. Didn't know which brand, but apparently this is an amazing brand. Something else I had to do was go ahead and remove um, a couple screws, which were right here. It already came with the screws in there. I unscrewed them and attach these brackets. There are four brackets, one right there, one right there, and two on the other side. Don't wanna turn it right now because someone just pulled up, so I don't want them in the, the video. Um, also had to go ahead and install this right here and this gasket right here to kind of hold everything in place. We do have a quick release. So they say once you, you know, you can take this on and off. It'll actually be easy within like five minutes. Um, and now that I've done it for the first time, maybe it really will be five minutes because all I had to do was uh, loosen this screw to allow the wheels to move off of this. So that's all I wanted to show you guys up close. Another thing I'm going to be doing today, but probably in a different video is touching this up. We're going to, you know, get some color back on there because it looks mighty faded, which is another reason why a cover like this will come in handy. So let me set up the other angle again and we'll get back to it. This is something you guys will be able to figure out. Just take your time, relax, you can get it done. First thing we need to do is clip this end into one side of the truck. This is gonna be on the driver's side and then can't really angle it too well, but we have another end which actually has a quick release and we're gonna be putting that on the other end. So let's go ahead and do that. Start by just putting one side in the tracks here. And once you have one side clicked in, the other side should be up on the rails. Just push it in and it's gonna go into that quick release clamp. So that was very simple. Next thing we need to do is go ahead and get our gaskets right here. One side has the actual tube on it, which should be angled down to make sure it stays lubricated. And we're gonna clip one end onto the ball that's attached to the cover itself and the other one into the side that goes into the truck rail. All right, so the reason why I'm making this video is to give you guys some helpful tips because I'm trying to figure it out myself. It is a little tough because the point of this is to keep the truck bed lifted so it won't cave in. So this does have a lot of pressure in it. So before you put it back on there and get your hands all greasy, go ahead and give it some pressure to release some of that pressure there. Then we're gonna go ahead and attach it to both ends. We're gonna lift one of the little clips 
Put your hand back here to feel for the little knob. All right, before we move to the next step, just using a napkin to wipe some of this grease off my hands. Put the gasket bracket back on. One end right here, the other end goes back and attaches to the cover itself. We did the same thing on this side. And the only extra thing that we did is we loosened up this nut right here that is attached to this railing. Remember the clo side closest to the truck is vertical. This one is slanted right here towards the back of the bed cover. We're gonna go ahead and tighten this back up right here because we want these wheels to be able to catch this right here. Just tighten it with your hand a little bit at first. Keep that part back. There it is. So it looks like I tightened it back up as much as it can be. We got the screw itself here, a bolt, and there's like a plastic piece on the back side to protect the truck bed. Let's go ahead and put the tools up because I should be feeling pretty confident, right? If I'm making a video telling y'all how to do it, I should be able to get it done successfully. Otherwise, I probably ain't gonna upload the video. So let me just put my tools up because I know it's going to be good. I know it's going to be right because that's what I did the first time when I set it up. All right. So we're going to jump on the bed right now. Loosen, loosen this up. Matter of fact, is it recording? Yeah, I had to make sure. Go ahead and loosen this rope up again. There it is. Take a walk off. And if I did it right, it should glide pretty smooth, y'all. There it is. And we can close that thing on up. And there we go. We can go ahead and lock it back up, but I ain't gonna do that just yet. But I will show you guys now how to open it because if I were to just come back here, even if I had the truck bed open and try to push on it like this, it's not gonna open at all. You actually have to do it from this side over here. So I don't think I locked it back, but if I forgot to tell you guys, there is a lock on it right here, but you just put some pressure on the back panel to get it started. And then you can come over here and glide it through. So with that being said, this is my review, my install, whatever I did the first time when I installed this truck bed cover. Again, I do really like it because as you guys can see, it goes into the bed. Um, it does not block the window like I've seen some other ones, or they even have some that's like a trifold that fold three times, block the back window or whatever else. I don't know the, the way that they strap them down and stuff like that, but having to put some pressure on the back and it just slides in, it's not too bad for me. It's pretty simple. Again, let's open it up. And the string, the rope string, whatever y'all want to call it, whatever the difference is, is long enough to just, you don't have to climb in the bed to get it. Just go ahead and pull it through. And there it is. Truck bed, and I'll show you guys a close up of what I wasn't able to show you guys a minute ago. A quick release clamp connected, connected in the circle over there. Didn't really mess with this side except just put the clamp back. But this is the reason why we need to tighten this bolt because when we pull on this rope, whatever, we need to make sure those wheels hit that just enough to get like the full wheel on there, but not enough to where it's grinding this back piece. Just get that full wheel on there, not a little bit, not half, not three quarters. Get the full wheel on there. So when you pull it, it slides on this truck. Something else I've seen somebody mention in a video, and I do see how this could be a problem, but when it's on there, even when it's on there the right way, you guys see the rubber? Looks like it's messing up the rubber. I barely got this thing not that long ago, so opening and closing it a lot of times probably will tear this rubber up some more. Um, speaking of that, I did install, let me make sure. So you do also have to install these rubber pieces right here. And as long as these are on there, then you know that it's not like, you know, too tight or wrong. So we got one, there's the second one still on there. It should be every other one. So two, three still on there. And as long as I got two more, I think we good. There's one right there. I don't know if y'all can see it. Yep. One right there. And the last one is still there, so perfect. So it's on there good. So even with it being on there good, not too tight, evenly spaced, angled and everything like that, I do notice some things right there because that rubber slides against this rubber piece. And you know, yeah, so there's gonna be some uh, wear and tear over time. Again, I just got it. I've only opened and closed this thing. 
outside of testing it, let's say less than 25 times I've opened and closed this thing uh, once I actually got it on here correct. So yeah, with that being said, I do like it though. Very easy to, I was gonna say easy to install. It was, it was pretty hard to figure out, but once I figured it out, you seen I was able to take it off and reinstall it. So I almost forgot to tell you guys too, during the time that I've actually had this installed on my bed, um, it has, went through a car wash because I took the truck to get maintenance at Honda. Um, it went through the full on car wash, the machine car wash, not hand car wash. And it did get a little bit of water in here, but only through the back sides. Anyways, there's two little rubber pieces that you have to attach on the back on my truck specifically for the ridge line where water can get in. So that give you a little strip to put in that space. I put it in that space, but even going through a full on car wash, it only got a little bit of water in the truck bed. And then like two days after that, it actually rained outside. So it was full on rain not a light sprinkle, it was a full heavy rain. I opened the truck bed cover and it was as dry as can be. A little dirty, but it was dry. So with that being said, I'm gonna go ahead and end it right now. Again, Paragon, thank you for this cover, even though it was a gift, we paid full price for it. This video is not sponsored, but I am trying to get sponsored for a future video. So Paragon, if you have an upgraded cover that you would like to send your boy, I would love to share it with my audience and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Um, what else should I attach to my truck, man? What other accessories? I might still do the tent, still do the paint, still do whatever. Throw some wheels on it. But enough talking. Catch y'all real soon.